Hey guys, Buildzoid here on the Gigabyte Gaming K5 motherboard. As you can clearly see, we're experiencing the 1.5 gigahertz bug. And I figured I'd show this to you because, well, somebody might actually bother to Twitter this or mail this to Gigabyte. Actually, I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell my contacts for Gigabyte that, hey, um... I kind of know what causes the 1.5 gigahertz bug. You might want to fix this because as you can see, we're stuck at 1.55 gigahertz here. If we run Cinebench, the, the clock's not actually going to go up. It's just going to run incredibly slowly. And a lot of people run into this bug and like, I've not seen any like real solutions posted about it. So yeah, it is stuck at 1.5. Test is running like as slow as a snail. Um, but yeah, so that's the 1.5 GA, uh, 1.55 gigahertz bug. Basically, your CPU gets stuck at 1.55 gigahertz like that. No idea why. Uh, and for for the longest time, like it was really hard to like. Well, I didn't really see any like surefire solution anywhere um, for the issue. But here's a funny fix. We're just gonna lower that a bit. And I have not actually found the the specific voltage level at which it triggers, but I know at about plus 200, it always, like, plus 200 I know for sure breaks, bre breaks the clock controller for, like, it gets the CPU stuck at 1.55. So we'll see if, uh, if plus 162 is low enough that this works. Actually, I already have my answer. Um, but yeah, that fixed it. That's a, that's an interesting issue to have. And that's the only thing, yeah, and as you can see, we're at 3.1 gigahertz now. Um, so, yeah, I have no idea how this happens. Um, the only CPU that I've had this happen on is my latest Ryzen 7. So, the chip that we have right now in this system is a new Ryzen 7 chip that I bought very recently. Because basically with, uh... Like, I'm kind of wrapping up in terms of content on the Gigabyte Gaming K5, and I want to move the motherboard into my daily systems as soon as possible. So, I'm obviously... Uh, and I don't have more Ryzen CPUs, so I had to buy an extra one so that I had one, one Ryzen to, like, use for benchmarking. Um, j just generally, I don't want to use for my daily system. So, I bought this new chip as a sort of, um, you know... Like, I, I want to use this chip for... Uh, for my daily and earlier today I had a problem with the K5 where it, where it was reporting that the CPU wasn't working so um, since I have two CPUs I swapped the CPU out and it, it started working so I was really worried my other chip died but I stuck that chip into the Tai Chi and it worked so I guess it just got loose in the socket or something I'm not sure I'll have to put that chip back onto the motherboard eventually but yeah no I installed the new CPU onto the K5 and you know um, Later today, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll put some more work into the into the RAM overclocking uh, stuff, which, incidentally, the CPU just sucks at RAM overclocking so badly. Um, like, the memory controller on this thing is pure garbage. But, you know, I, I was doing the overclocking, and I decided, okay, I want to throw a 3.8 gigahertz overclock on this. And I was going really overboard on the voltage. I, well, not really overboard, because ultimately, this board droops really, really hard under load. So... You know, uh, I, I like you. You need to give it a lot of voltage in order to get the voltage you want once you're under load. Which it, it droops like six. Well, it droops sort of. Well, depending on how much current it's pulling, it droops more and more. But um, yeah, it does droop quite a bit, uh, especially at higher frequencies. So I was setting it to plus two hundred, and every time I boot it in, it's like I'm stuck at one point five five gigahertz, and. I started like hunting and hunting and hunting for something, something, anything to fr freaking fix it. And well, you know, then I randomly decided, well, what if we try a lower, like, like I had the suspicion, you know what? I'm breaking it by changing CPU frequency, right? It's cause that, that would make sense. Changing the clocks breaks the clocks. Yeah, that would make sense. So I decided to leave the clocks alone and started messing with everything else in the BIOS. So I changed the C states, the power, uh, the core boost, and all of that. 
And then I went and applied a voltage offset and I set it to plus 200 and I didn't do anything to the actual CPU clock multiplier. And I was stuck at 1.55 gigahertz. And I'm like, okay, well, um, what happens if I put in a lower offset? Well, it worked. No, no more 1.55 gigahertz. But this is really annoying um to be completely honest it does only at like so far i've like this is the first time i've seen this bug like my other ryzen 7 cpu which is like a launch like that one i pre-ordered that one that's how that's how early that chip is so my pre-order chip that one's perfectly fine this thing has the bug um i've never seen it until now so yeah i, I don't know um, I, well, I hope, you know, Gigabyte or AMD, so, somebody can figure out what the hell, why the hell offset voltage triggers the glitch. I, I have a small suspicion that it's probably some power management thing going haywire. Because, you know, that's, wh wh whatever internal, because Ryzen can monitor its uh, input, like, it can check the on-die voltage. At least in theory, it should be able to do that. And since it's technically able to do that, I assume whatever does that and reports the voltage to something else, that something else is screwing up if you feed, like if it sees too much voltage. Um, I'm going to have to test this chip on the Tai Chi, but uh, for now, yeah, 1.55 gigahertz bug. If you run into it on a Gigabyte Gaming K5, just don't use as like lower your offset voltage. Literally, just lower your offset voltage and it'll go away. And I do understand that that means, you know, you can't run as high an overclock, but well, until somebody, like, until this gets patched somehow, which I'm hoping it get like, I am, I hope it's patchable, because as I said, I have another CPU that doesn't do this at all. So it's like they screwed up something CPU side, which I imagine could even be like hardware level. Um, cause like, if I put the other chip in, it'll, it'll, it'll it won't do this anymore, but yeah, um, that's that, you know, 1.55 gigahertz bug, it's triggered, at least on the, at least on, I assume other gigabyte boards as well will do the same thing, um, it's triggered by offset voltage, it's not triggered by anything else, like, somebody told me it's triggered if you enter the BIOS two times in a row and change settings, nah, uh, it's not triggered by that, it's literally just offset voltage, you put enough offset voltage onto the, onto the, in, in the BIOS and bam, you, you get slapped with the 1.55 gigahertz bug. Uh, I imagine the X series chips would actually have less of an issue with this because the X series chips would, like you wouldn't need as high an offset uh, voltage when overclocking on them. So there you wouldn't really need, need to worry about it too much. But yeah, if you're on like a non X CPU, because the non X CPUs, you know, if we set the voltage to zero here, the non-X CPUs have a really low, uh, like, base voltage or vid, because the offset applies on top of the vid voltage that the CPU requests. And, well, the vid for, like, a 1700 just stays at this, yeah, at around 1.2 volts, um, regardless of how, how high you actually clock it. So, well, actually, no, it actually goes down at higher clocks, which is, uh, bit interesting like at higher clocks it ends up being closer to around 1.19 um which is just yeah um that's basically like i don't know why it works that way i think it's silly but yeah it, it droops the voltage a bit on the vid um but yeah that's uh that's really really annoying um but I imagine X series chips shouldn't have as much of an issue with this because again, you you can you don't need as much offset to get the same final voltage. But non X CPUs as a that have this bug, um, they're pretty screwed because you need to apply like th this chip needs plus two hundred millivolts to do one point four volts idle, which is like one point three five load, which is like does like nothing. <laughs> you know that's. It's really not enough voltage to, to do much of anything. Well, actually, yeah, it would be around 1.35 load. So, that just, like, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, because, like, the moment I set this past 200, like, if we just escape out of the BIOS right now, we'll be still, everything will be fine. And, 
you know, the moment you add extra voltage offset, bam, you, you get the you get the glitch. And your CPU gets stuck at 1.55 gigahertz, ruining performance, which is just yay. I mean, I'm just going to do one last demonstration that, you know, this is repeatable. So, yeah, you know, still at 3.1 gigahertz. And that'll be it. So. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this CPU, though. Because it was supposed to go into my daily system, but, like, I, I, I can't actually do anything with this, because it's just, like, I can't overclock this, because the moment I put 0 0.2 in there, um, it's going to down, like, it's going to get stuck at 1.55 gigahertz again. And that means, like, I have enough cooling to run a higher voltage offset than one, uh, plus 200 millivolts. Um, so, yeah, that... That was really, really annoying. Um, I mean, it's still better than having a completely locked down CPU <laughs> like you'd have on the Intel side, but, uh, you know, it's like, patch this, please, somehow. Um, maybe give us override voltages or something. Like, I, I don't know how you'd actually go about fixing this. I assume it's just like, like, if it's the CPU, complaining yeah and now, now we're at 1.55 like because here's the thing if it's a motherboard side issue um then gigabyte should be able to patch this but i honestly don't think it's a like i i really don't think it's motherboard side i think the new revision like i i've not tested a whole bunch of different ryzen's but this is the first like latest like new series um uh, well this is a well i don't know I'd have to compare, like, I've not kept track of revision or batch number, but, like, my other chip is a pre-order. Like, literally, I had to pre-order that one. That one was so early. Like, I ordered it basically on announcement day. So, that one's, like, really, really early. And I assume whatever they did in one of the revisions seems to have broken some of the automatic clock management in relation to high voltage. And... Well, that's kind of on AMD, not on the board vendors. So, yeah, if your motherboard's doing this, it might not even be patchable, and y you might have to, tur like, send your CPU in or something. Um, because I if they fix it on some later revision, because it, it does see, like, I think it's chip-specific. I don't think it's, like, I don't think it's the board's fault, because my other chip doesn't do this. So, yeah, um... I'm, I made that unnecessarily long, didn't I? But that's it for the video. Um, hopefully this helps anybody who runs into the runs into the bug. Um, you know, th this isn't a fix, but it is a... I mean, to some extent it is, a, like, it is a fix, but it's, like, a really bad fix. Because, honestly, I'd consider this fixed if you could run, like, 4 gig... Like, you could run whatever voltage you want and, and whatever overclock you want. You can't. Um, you're just kind of stuck accepting that you can't set the CPU to really high core voltage. Um, so yeah, that, that really sucks. Um, I, I hope this gets fixed somehow, but that's it. So thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment or any questions down below. Um, yeah, and, uh. Oh, wait, I need to test this on this, the Asus board as well. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, but that is it for, it for the video. And, uh, right, I have a PayPal, a Patreon, and shirt. there's also shirts you can buy. And it, speaking of all those things, I should thank all the Patreons because uh, I wouldn't be able to buy this most recent CPU. Like, I bought this chip. So thank you, patrons. Thank you, PayPal donators. Thank you, shirt buyers. For, for literally making this video possible because otherwise I'd still be using my pre-order batch chip, which again, that one's thanks to the Patreon, so. Anyway, enough thank youing and goodbye. <laughs> Where's the stop button? No, where'd my mouse go? Oh, there we go, found it. Okay, now actually goodbye. <laughs>